Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel PharmaGest. Myself Dr. Haimavati. In today's video, we will discuss how to validate a homology model. So before beginning our video, I wish you all a very happy and successful new year 2023. Homology modeling. So I hope you know what is homology modeling because you are viewing this video how to validate a model. But uh, bef uh, even though let's briefly revise what is homology modeling. So in homology modeling, we take a target and a template sequence, then we align both the sequences and this alignment is submitted to a program like modeler, Swiss PTB, etc. And a 3D model is generated for the given alignment sequence. After obtaining the target model, we need to validate the model. Because it is a theoretical model, we need to check whether the model is correct or not in, uh, in terms of its stereochemical quality or energy. Because we need to use it for further study like structure based drug design or uh, in silico mutagenesis etc. So we need to ascertain that it is a good quality model. So what is model validation? So in model validation we check for the possible errors generated in the generated models. The quality of the model depends on the sequence similarity between the target template and the environment. So the target template sequence should be at least 30% between the target and template. When you align both the sequences, you need to have a minimum of 30% sequence similarity in order to obtain a good quality model. And when coming to the environment, for example, if you are studying the calcium binding proteins, so these calcium binding proteins they undergo large conformational changes when they are bound to calcium. And if you are using a calcium free template to model this uh, calcium bound state of a target, then the generated model will tend to be incorrect. So we need to consider even the environmental factors also when you are generating a 3D model. Otherwise it leads to pot potential errors in further studies. There are two types of evaluation. One is internal evaluation and second one is external evaluation. In internal evaluation, uh, we can use pro, uh, web servers like ProCheck and for external evaluation, we have a ProSA. And uh, majorly, the protein structure is verified using Ramchandran plot and the ProSA plot. And uh, programs like Modeler, Swiss Model, Rosetta, ITASR, etc. All these uh, homology model building programs also they have their own inbuilt evaluation functions in order to verify whether the generated model is a correct structure or not and these are external web servers which help in evaluating the model so the programs the model generating programs also they have inbuilt evaluation programs in order to check for the generated molecule now coming to internal evaluation so in this internal evaluation, self-consistency checks are done whether the model satisfies the restraints which are used to generate the model. So each model is generated using certain uh, spatial restraints. So these, uh, if any errors are present in these uh, restraints, they can be checked using this internal evaluation. For example, errors which arise due to bonds, bond angles, differences in this dihedral angles, non-bonded atom atom distances all these they can be verified using programs such as ProCheck, Verify 3D and WordCheck. And then assessment of stereochemistry of a model. This can be done using Ramachandran plot. This Ramachandran plot it gives the stereochemical quality of the protein with respect to the phi and psi angles. So it analyzes residue by residue geometry and gives the overall structured structural geometry of the protein so this is how a ramachandran plot looks like so the ramachandran plot has four quadrants so the plot in this uh, rc plot ramachandran plot also known as rc plot it has four different quadrants and the residues of the protein can be uh, seen anywhere in these three quadrants so out of these four quadrants we have different regions that is most favored regions additionally allowed regions and generously allowed regions so the most favored regions are the red color region additionally allowed regions are the yellow color region 
and generously allowed region is this pale yellow region and this white color region is disallowed region that means the residues which are present in our model structure they can be present anywhere in this red zone or this yellow zone or this pale yellow zone but they should not be present in this white color zone if any residues are present in this white color zone it indicates steric clashes between the side chains of the structure which leads to instability of the protein hence we need to see that the protein is stereochemically correct and this is given by the ramachandran plot and in this uh, there is an exception so the amino acid glycine because it does not have any side chains and therefore it does not induce any steric inhibitions so steric hindrance so it can occupy any of the four quadrants so if it is present in the white region also it does not uh, create any issue because it is not having any side chains so this is an exception in this rc plot and then we have uh, another web server known as pdb sum so this pdb sum it gives the rc plot for the proteins which are present in the protein data bank and for user generated proteins we have pdb sum generate so the name of the web page is pdb sum generate so when you submit your structures to, to this pdb sum generate you can obtain the rc plot for your plot and now coming to external evaluation so this external evaluation it relies on the information that is not used in the calculation of the model so examples for this uh, methods are z score plot and energy plot which is given by prosa so this prosa it uh, gives us the overall model quality as well as local model quality so this uh, overall model quality of the protein is given by z score plot and the local model quality is given by the energy plot so this z score it is a measure of compatibility between the sequence and its structure so the prosa z score plot it looks like this so uh, this is how a prosa z score plot looks like so in this prosa z score plot it gives the overall quality score of the protein and this uh, overall quality score of the protein is nothing but the z score and this z score values so in this plot we can see that uh, we have structures which are deposited using x ray and which are done using nmr so the nmr structures are represented by the dark blue color spots whereas the x ray structures are de uh, denoted by this light blue color dots so our subjected protein if the score of this uh, our uh, target protein falls anywhere in this region so this uh, it represents a characteristic zone of this uh, x ray x ray solved structures and nmr solved structures so if our z score it falls anywhere in this region so it indicates that our over uh, our protein structure the overall quality of the protein is a good and stable one then we have the z score energy plot so this z score energy plot it gives the local quality of the protein so this so this z score energy plot it has two regions so this negative region and positive region so we can see uh, the protein it is present uh, some amount uh, more major amount is present in the negative region and some residues are present in the positive region so the negative region indicates that the input structure is having a stable and good local quality if the residues are present in the positive region it indicates some problematic or erroneous parts are present so it contains two different window sizes window size 10 and 40 so what this what does this window size indicate is that uh, this plot is smoothed over a range of 40 residues so in order to obtain a smooth plot the square uh, the score has been averaged over 40 residues and in window size 10 the plot is smoothed for 10 residues so you are getting two different uh, lines so the thick line represents the window size 40 and the thin line represents the window size 
so if your pro uh, protein falls with the negative zone it indicates that it is a uh, having a stable structure and it gives the local so you can if uh, any residues if they are present in the positive zones so it indicates some problem uh, that they either its energy is unstable or there are some clashes between the side chains etc so these we can rectify using the optimization procedure or md simulation procedures and again we have to subject it to evaluation and now coming to evaluation in modeler so i have already told you so the programs they have their own inbuilt evaluation functions so in modeler we have modeler objective function which is known as mol pdf and then dope soap and ga341 so there are four methods of evaluation in modeler now coming to modeler objective function mol pdf so in this the model with the lowest uh, mol pdf value is considered the best model this mol pdf it is reported in the second line of the model pdb file that is when you are subjecting uh, uh, means when you are generating the model using modeler so the uh, initial input uh, script file which generates the protein it has the assessment method also and this modeler objective function is by default given along with the uh, output structure that means in the log file we can uh, obtain this modeler object mol pdf value and also in the pdb file which it generates in that second line also we can see this modeler objective function value so this uh, helps in tracking the models which are generated from the same alignment that means when you are subjecting one template and one protein so for that uh, single alignment you can generate any number of output structures so out of this uh, generated uh, suppose if you are generating some 10 output structures for your single uh, alignment file out of this 10 models if you want to evaluate which is the best model then the model uh, the mole pdf value so the model which has the lowest mole pdf value you can consider it to be the best model out of the generated 10 models so this is uh, by default this value is calculated in the input script file for which you are generating the model next we have dope value so this dope is discrete optimized protein energy score it evaluates the fold of the selected model so this is present in the script evaluate underscore model dot py so the python script evaluate underscore model it calculates the dope potential of both target and template proteins so it is based on statistical potentials it indicates regions of high energy but uh, if the regions of high energy are present either in the active site region or protein protein interface you can neglect this value but as in other uh, remaining residues if they it indicates higher energy that means there is some error in the input structure and this is useful for proteins which contain single chain only for example if the proteins have more than one chain like uh, two or three chains then it calculates the dope energy score only for the first chain if a b c suppose if you have three different chains for your input structures like a b and c then uh, by default it will generate the dope value only for the first chain that is a and then we have soap statistically optimized atomic potentials so in this at uh, individual potentials are optimized for scoring and assessing the interfaces loops protein peptide interactions and protein structures and this function is calculated only if you mention in the ss methods so i have already told that in the input script itself by default it calculates the dopes uh, by default it calculates the mole pdf value but it does not calculate the soap value if you want to obtain this method you should uncomment this uh, function then only this uh, this evaluation method will be applicable for the model 
and this is also useful for ranking the models and then we have ZA341 so this command it also gives the quality of the model in this uh, it uses the percentage sequence identity between the template and the model as a parameter so the produced PDB files in the remark column you can obtain this value so in the generated uh, PDB file this GA341 score it can be seen in the remark column and the GA score ranges from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 so the higher value indicates more native like structure but the lower value indicates the structure is a bad one so it does not distinguish between good models and bad models it only gives the score whether it is worst or native like so in this the model will be which is having low lowest value of mole pdf dope or soap but for ga it should be higher value so do not get confused so the model the best model will be which is having lowest values of mole pdf dope or soap and more precisely we take into consideration only the modeler objective function that is mole pdf when compared to other three scores so this is about uh, the different uh, evaluation uh, programs for the protein models so we have inbuilt protein models for the different softwares like uh, modeler swiss model etc and external functions like prosa and ramachandran plot we have different web server available for each evaluation parameter so it is based on user discretion so whichever uh, evaluation method you are comfortable with you can use that and uh, most generally for any protein ramachandran plot is the first criteria so if, if it satisfies the ramachandran plot so it is considered stereochemically correct and when you go for other plots so the prosa z score plot is also a very good uh, evaluation parameter so when your protein satisfies these parameters then you can consider it as a good quality protein and you can go for further study like structure based drug design or in silico mutagenesis etc so i hope you like this video and if you have any doubts or comments you can give in the comments section and uh, this is the end of the video i hope you like the video so if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one thank you